and I think the whole country knows the litany, the government has broken the law, unlawfully tried to prorogue Parliament, ignored a nationwide lockdown by breaking its own laws in Downing Street, and tried to change parliamentary rules to protect one of their own. Now, that isn't intended to be an exclusive list, and it isn't, but the damage from that is, is widespread and beyond Parliament. In the four countries of the United Kingdom, we take democracy for granted. We shouldn't. If you look around the world, you'll find it's in retreat in many countries and has been for 10 to 15 years or more, and it looks like that is going to continue. The point is this, democracy is not inevitable. It can be undone, step by step, action by action, falsehood by falsehood. It needs to be protected at all times. And it seems to me that if our law and our accepted conventions are ignored, then we're on a very slippery slope that ends with pulling our constitution into shreds. What has been done in the last three years has damaged our country at home and overseas, and I think has damaged the reputation of Parliament as well. The blame for these lapses must lie principally, principally, but not only, with the Prime Minister. But many in his cabinet are culpable too, and so are those outside the cabinet who cheered him on. They were silent when they should have spoken out, and then spoke out only when their silence became self-damaging. 